Hi, I'm Joe DiGiulio with another quick lesson. We're going to be working with Matisse's spreader medium, the MM number eight. This medium is important that we use this only with the flow instead of the structure acrylic paint film. The important part to know is that it is a very thick based buttery consistency. And what we're going to do by mixing this along with some water, it's going to create this beautiful glazing effect but you have to use the flow because of the viscosity of the paint film. A structured viscosity, which is thick and impasto-like, is going to be clumping and you're not going to have that nice flowing kind of color that you're looking for. What we're going to be doing is creating glazes and that's the important part of what the, the, the spreader medium is all about. You see, I'm using a phthalo blue here this time and it creates a beautiful lustrous color and as I pull away from the main color and mix it in you'll see that I can get different ranges in the translucency of the color. A little bit of water and the spreader medium or what they would commonly think of if you've used acrylic paints in the past you're going to see other companies call it glazing medium but it has the same properties as that. Once I've got the consistency where I want, I have no glazes, that's when the application is going to occur. I can simply by taking, you want to use a soft brush, not a hard white bristle brush. Something maybe perhaps synthetic and has a nice flow to it. In this case, I'm using the Polar Flow 2 inch wash brush. Excellent for that. It's going to add some beautiful glaze techniques which can give some definition and some depth to your work. Bringing it in, you can see I can, re as I put it in, it, it streaks at first, but as I go ahead and work with it, it blends into the canvas and the streaks disappear. All right? Now I've got a little bit deeper color there. Where I want to enrich the color, create jewel tones, this is an excellent product for doing just that. Again, make sure that you're using a flow formula based paint for this. That's the one that's going to work absolutely the best. And of course, again, phthalos or other colors, quinacridones, that range of color, those are the ones that are translucent because they have a synthetic man-made pigment in it that has more of a sheen quality than something that's organic or from the earth, like a sienna. So make sure you stick to these beautiful jewel tones to get that beautiful effect you want. And as you see, you can even see right here as I let it sit, when I first pull it through, it streaks, but as it settles down, it all kind of self-levels, makes a beautiful opaque, not, excuse me, not opaque, but translucent color over the whole base of it, and I can create rich areas of depth with it. Very simply, one of the favorite ones to use you can let it dry and then you can build up with another layer of another color. These glazing effects almost give like layers of glass over it and it gives the refraction qualities of the light when it hits your painting this beautiful glow that you're just not going to get with anything else. So next time you're out there and you're doing a little bit of painting and you're looking for something to do these beautiful rich glaze to introduce another dimension to your paint, try the M8 Spreader Medium by Matisse. I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping by.